Hello everybody, Just Jay here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to sneak into the Duchess Mansion at night and reach the Duchess's bedchamber. Now, for those of you out there who may have been having trouble with this, I'm going to try to show you guys a way that works for me pretty much every single time. And before I go ahead and show you why this is even something that you should do is because for those of you out there who may want to make Eleanor the Duchess's wife, your beloved, it's a reliable way to go about accessing her, giving her gifts and things of that nature. And there are also two items within her bedroom that may be of interest to some of you out there. One of which is a maid outfit, which is the outfit that the help around the mansion wear, particularly the females. And the other is the silk lingerie, which is a rather risque bottom piece for those of you out there who are interested in wearing something like that for your female characters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close the map here. And the reason why I have this up is so that way you guys have a relation to you know, where we're starting from and where we're going to be going. So, as you can see from where I just scrolled up, we're going to start from the end and we're going to go right here and end up at the Duke's Dims. I'm not sure if that's how you sell it or not, so just laugh at me. It's fine. So, I'm going to close the map. And the first thing we're going to do is sleep until nightfall. Go ahead and pay our gentleman here. Now it's really important that as soon as night arrives that you leave immediately from the inn to the Duchess mansion. And the reason why this is important is because you're doing this at this time and you're hustling because you're in the, by doing this, the guards are actually in the process of changing from daytime guards to the night shift. And I can't really confirm exactly if this lessens the amount of patrol within or not. But I do know that one of the benefits is that the guards are going to be in a fairly predictable rotation at this point in time. And it's going to make our route really easy getting from point A to point B. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys this without messing up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is there's a guard on the other side of this door. So you're going to kind of want to open it real quick and then back away because sometimes he's right there on the other side of the door. Um, I'm not sure if you showed up here or not. Okay. It looks like it might be fine. Okay. As you can see, he's already on this route. He went that direction. So we're just going to hurry up, open this door here, and we're going to go ahead and turn to the right and stay along this corridor here. And we're going to position ourselves at this pillar right here. And we're going to watch the stairwell. There's going to be a guard that's going to come from upstairs to our left right there. He's going to come down, as you can see right there. He's going to pause, potentially pause. Sometimes he stops, sometimes he doesn't. He went on about his business there. So now we're just going to jet on up these stairs like so. Straight ahead and up this set of stairs here. And we're home free. That's it. That's all there is to it. And you just head straight. Open our door here into the Duchess's bedchamber. Voila. You just got yourself inside the Duchess's bedchamber with little to no real effort. It's all about the timing and just leaving right away, right after you sleep. So as long as you do that, that rotation should be that way almost every single time there's going to be some variance here and there especially at that first guard when you come into the main hall as i was mentioning earlier because sometimes that guard is right there waiting to stare you in your face and throw you into the dungeon but that was probably the most favorable scenario but that is almost always going to go like that so as long as you follow those steps now aside from being able to come in here and if you're looking to romance eleanor um there are two items that you can snatch up from in here. Now, they're probably not going to show up here for me during this recording. But right here on this spot, underneath her bed, there is going to be a chance for you to gather the silk lingerie. 
and it's pretty much a 50 50 chance it might be a little higher than that if you don't get that you'll get some silk or some type of crafting cl um, cloth of that nature so right here at the bed right where I'm standing there's gonna be a blue beam of light right here and you'll gather from this point and you'll have a chance of gathering the silk lingerie now over here behind this changing wall is another gathering spot now at this location you have a chance of getting the black corset or the maid outfit the maid outfit is really really rare so you might have to kind of like come in here save your game and then after you save your game go ahead and gather at this location as well as a location over there at the bed where she's now standing if you don't receive what you're looking for simply reload your game and try again now just so you guys know what these items look like we're going to go to the equipment screen and I'm going to equip these items for you so we're going to go to torso and I'm going to go over here and select the set of servants garb this is the maid outfit I was referring to and as you can see it is very much as I described that's a lot more of what you would expect in terms of a classical set of housemaid attire servant attire maid attire depending on what name you want to attach to it uh, we're just going to stick with what they call it obviously set of servant garb and so that's for any of you out there who kind of want to role play as a battle maid or anything like that so we're going to move on and underneath the next category we're going to go to the silk lingerie now this is a lot more risque so I'm just gonna highlight that and you can see right away just how much of this is now exposed to us um, so it's a fairly exciting risque item for anybody whose taste that may apply to um, if my cape wasn't there you'd be seeing um, the rear extremities as well um, it's one of my favorite pieces you'll actually see a lot of this with uh, some of the other pawns that you can hire it's a really popular um, bottom piece for pawns that players like to equip onto them and I like to gather them honestly just because it's just a really unexpected gift item for when you rent pawns out there when you're adventuring but yes that's um how you acquire these items fairly easily uh, this silk lingerie this isn't the only place in the game you can acquire this but it's one of the more easier places to farm it from the maid outfit though the servants attire is from my understanding this is the only place you can get this item I don't know of any other place in the game you can acquire this so hopefully this guide has been helpful if you have any further questions please leave comments in the section below and have a great day.